Hello and welcome back to another episode of Le Plata! So guys, we are back here in the days of awesomeness where I, I got something to show you guys. I get something you would really like here in a second and before somebody realizes it, I have no money right now and that's because look at this! <laughs> look at all that industry that I am now creating and and boosting through my economy. Oh, it's a glorious. So... I did exactly what I said I would do last episode. I basically went through every single one of my factories, every single one of my like regions, looked at what they produced, and made sure that they were actually producing actual goods that actually made sense. Instead of just like producing a uh, cannery factory in a place that has absolutely no horses, has no, has absolutely no cows, or has absolutely no like fish or anything. That's really stupid. I don't know why capitalists do that, but it's really stupid. So, yes, I did that. And now I believe in a couple years, we should actually have an economic powerhouse where we could actually destroy the entire world. <laughs> Anyways, so we also have a little uh, difficulty dealing with the fact that we are right now at war with uh, two different nations, two different wars, the one right here in South America and the one dealing with the arrogant Europeans over here. Who thought they could steal my land from me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Netherlands and and Belgium. You guys aren't stealing my land. And for mostly, I'll do for mostly for this war. I'm not really gonna be doing much. I mean, literally, all I have to do is just make sure I destroy this army right here. Once this army is dead, we just go siege up the rest of this coastline. I just make sure this coastline is underneath my control, and boom, bam, we won. Okay, it's as simple as that. Because as long as they don't control the war score, we're gonna win. Now, this might actually, the only problem is, is that because we have our good ally of America on our side, um, they're practically, because I kind of noticed that we're losing battles right now, and I kind of figured out why. Basically what's happening is America is sending like 12 ships over here to, to Europe, and they're getting, all these 12 ships are getting squished instantly by the gigantic, uh, let me show you, ships... Uh, where are they? Right there. Yep. That's probably the reason why. <laughs> so, America keeps suicide bombing all their ships all the way into Europe, which gives them war score, which then gives us even harder times to eventually end this war. But, it's not, it's not for all, it's really not much of a fray. It just means that we probably were going to have to take this war all the way to 100%. Like, we're literally going to have to wait 529 days to finish this war off before we'll be able to end it. It's very sad for me to admit that, but it's probably what's going to happen because I don't think I could actually land one of my troops in the European countries because, well, quite frankly, I haven't really geared my uh, research towards being able to fight European countries. I don't even have gas attacks yet. I mean, seriously, I am really low on tech. So... Fighting an actual European army might be a little bit of difficulty. Plus, I don't think I can land my troops over there because they would... My, I only have 21 transports because I don't really specialize in Navy most of the time in this game. So, the short answer, it's a very terrible idea and basically we're just going to have to wait for that war to end. Okay, now let's move on to this war. This war was a little bit more interesting because as you guys know, I entered it... I sh I'm going to keep this at one speed, that way you guys have a little bit of something happening while I'm talking. Because I know it kind of gets boring when a YouTuber just talks for hours and hours on end and never actually gets to the actual game. So, let's get to the, let's get to the game. Um, basically, as you guys know, I entered this war because I wanted to get some land from Peru. Because Peru should be a part of my empire. Everyone knows this. Peru knows this. I know this. Everyone else knows this. Except for one person doesn't know this. And I didn't realize this until I like looked at all the like friendly people. Because I thought it was just America who was really interested down here. Why were you interested down here? I don't know, America. This is my area. I've already told you this. I get South America, you get Northern America. Also, I get this little part of Northern America too, but we can't, We don't count that. I get... You guys get Northern America. Okay. But, when I was looking at Peru's uh, spheres of influence and all the great powers who like it, apparently Peru got a good friendly relationship going on with the, with the British. Of all people... In this game that they could be friends with, they were friends with the British. The Literally the only people that could stop me and make me have to just, you know, scrunch my head in disappointment. Because 
If it was the French, I would not give a damn about what happens. If it was the Germans, I would not give a damn. If it was the Russians, I would not give a damn. If it was the Austrians, I would not give a damn. But it's the UK, United Kingdom, who are in, who are infamous for the fact that they can just raise up entire. They have land almost in the entire world. They have ships up the wazoo, and transports up the wazoo. So they can basically just transport all their troops and instantly just crush me and make this war. Either, either if I were to win this war with the British coming in, I'd win it barely. I'd win it very barely. Like, it would be, like, so close to almost death that it would not even be worth it. Or, or, I would lose it horribly and have all my land sieged up by the British. The second one seems much more likely, so, yeah. To make sure this doesn't happen, um, well... First off, I'm going to also, while we're also talking about this, I'm thinking of it, I'm going to also switch all these to, uh, I'm going to look at my most populated factory regions, new developments, I should say, and basically create, like, my, uh, attract, attract more people, because now since we're going to have an entirely new, well, we're basically going to have an entirely new system here, we're going to need a lot more workers. I, I, I don't get why this one's not in front, but, okay. Um, so, yeah. A short answer to that war too is that we can't go we can't claim Peru so what I'm gonna take instead is I'm gonna take the Amazonians from Brazil okay because I don't want to deal with the British <laughs> I seriously don't want to deal with the British that's that's where I stand people that's where I stand so anyways let's get back into the game we're gonna go siege up more land you guys are done sieging go kill these guys I, I don't want these guys CG up my land because my land is my land and I don't want them CG up my land. Alright, over here what I'm going to do is probably like when it gets to this province right here, I'm going to divide up my army into two death stacks because um, basically when it comes into this game, the AI is very cunning. Like, don't ask me how, but the AI is very cunning when it adds in the popular demand mod. And they know how to dance around your troops very effectively. And I mean very effectively. Uh, let's see, does anything else I kind of need? Nah, let's get defense capability so I can get gas attacks, so maybe I can end this war a little bit quicker. So, basically what could happen... A victory! Ethnic flavor! Oh! This is a victory for a tolerant society! Yeah. We're a tolerant society, people. Yeah, no, 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 you are not doing that. Yeah, there we go. You see, this is exactly what I mean. If my guy was not there, they would instantly be able to, you know, escape past me and be able to, like... You know move across which I don't like and it, it annoys me it honestly annoys me to no end having to deal with that so I'm glad we're dealing with that um let's see with Brazil I'm believing I can add a war goal now I'm basically just gonna acquire state and you know what the best part about the Amazonian is about acquiring the Amazonians is is that it only costs 5.5 infamy it's a place under the Sun you know causes bill I and because I already have a state committed out of the Platine Amazonias, this is instantly going to become an entire state, so I instantly just get all these people for free. Which is going to be awesome. So, yeah. Happy days for me, everyone. Happy days for me. So as you guys can see, my troops... Again, the Brazilian conquest wasn't really much of a struggle. More of just... I have to go do this. Be more of just a chore, but... Eventually, this should all work it each other out, and I should be able to win this. Over here is the real kind of more attrition war, I should say. And I think I used that word right. I did not say nutrition, it's attrition. Yes. Okay, and let's go kill that last little army over there because I know Sakanto has, uh, let's just say, difficulties fighting European armies. I mean, we, we, give them encourage, we give them encouragements as much as we can to, you know, back off, but they just really want to fight European armies. But, you know, just sometimes the little chats aren't ready. And at this point in time, they just aren't ready. Okay, let's see if I can get them. Can I make a move? 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 No. And they can still escape from me. Shoot. You know, I'm just going to stop right now. Because I've learned this very quickly, is that when they start running away, there is no point. Oh, shoot. There's also a 19 state stack. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait right here. Let's see. Supply limit. Who can support me? Let's go back to Benin. Hide out, hide out in Bennett for a little bit, and yeah, my factories, my factories are gonna have a big influx for like the next couple, a little bit because it's like 
we're going to have to be dealing with a lot of different factories I closed off screen and a lot of different factories I like made off screen. Apparently we still got a Peru army. Go figure. I don't know why I didn't kill them off yet. You're supposed to kill them off, Patricio. Patricio Escalabar? No, it's not Escalabar. It's like Escobar. Es you know what? If I could... I'm just going to call you Patrick. <laughs> or Pat. You know what? That's a better name. Just call you Pat. Okay? Your name is going to be Pat. You're one of my great generals of today. Now go kill that army. <laughs> Uh, also, maybe go group up with these guys. Yeah, I think this army needs another cannon. Okay, um, back over here in the African Wars of Awesomeness, we are... Okay, I know exactly how this is gonna go. If I don't... Let's see. What I have to move to make sure that they don't... We get full advantage. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna have to make this guy run, run a little bit. Yeah, because he has the advantage if I try to attack from anywhere. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put excellent. Thank you guys for creating more factories. Divide up my soldiers. You guys go boom, boom, boom. Okay, and if you hide right there, I believe we're going to be able to... I believe we're, we're going to be able to cover all our bases, except for that one province right here. But if they get forced into that one province right there, that's actually going to help us out even more. Okay. And I know it's kind of a risky to, like, be sending our troops out here and to, like, dividing them, but eh. As long as I don't send in that 9k's death stack, I should be fine. <laughs> Honestly. And it seems like we are going in poor territory, which is not good. Uh, just basically, for right now, subsidize every single one of my factories. This is going to cost me a lot, but I really don't want any poor people right now in my country. Especially because I don't want the relationship hatred stuff from them. Like, they will start demanding, like, me doing other stuff, and I don't really want to do that. Also, please stop encouraging the Communist Party. I'm about... I'm about my, at my wit's end. I think, basically, we have enough communists for a little bit. <laughs> like, we don't need any more communists. Encourage encourage our immigration in Rio, and let's continue on with the game. Major discoveries, good job, everyone. That's what I want to hear from my top developers here at, uh, at, uh, uh, La Plata Industries. Okay, so let's see. You guys stay right there. Okay, so, 21 death stack, move in. Let's see, where are they going to try to go? They're going to try to go anywhere? No, they are. Okay, go. I don't think they can escape. We're going to be able to hit them. Okay, 15, 14. This is not going to turn out very well for me in the beginning. But then we do this, and it turns out very nice for me. Uh, liberals gain power. I don't really want to agitate anyone because I already have a high militancy. Uh, okay, and I just got dig in effect, so maybe there might be a slight chance I might get some... Uh, Good old chemical reaction stuff that could potentially kill people because of their lung infections and stuff that would make me very powerful to everyone else in the world. You know, just maybe. Okay, let's get let's move on. We're gonna go kill this nine nine K death stack because it's gonna annoy me now. Yeah. Nine K death stacks just annoy me all the time. Let's see, we also have to make sure we don't go I have to also make sure I watch my money because I realize if we go into debt Right about now, this will probably be one of the worst times to go into debt. Especially since I've gone to debt like six or seven times in this game. It's probably not a good idea to go into debt again. And let's see. It seems like... It seems like Brazil's trying to do some fighting back, but it's not exactly working. Uh, let's see. Who's winning right now in terms of the battles? We almost won. We, we just need to win a couple more battles, so... Basically, all I have to do is just go crush. I think I'm going to crush the Brazilian army because if I go crush the Brazilian army, then I'm going to be like, Oh, wait. I think La Plata is actually tough people. I'm going to be like, yeah, we're tough people. All right, you guys go. You guys are supposed to group up right there. Ah, no. This is the one thing about the game I really don't like is the fact they always push for a different party in power. Instead of the party you actually want in power, it always pushes for the party that is really not that popular at this point. I mean, seriously, if the amount of times I've had just, like, random parties just pop up around here, it's just like... <sighs> okay, and it seems like we're back over here, where they're cornering themselves. Hmm. They cornered themselves. That's good. Because, look, they got an army right there, I got an army right there, I got an army right there. As long as they don't have military access to France, we should be able to kill them. They have military access to France, don't they? No? Okay! Are ah, you? <sighs> I knew. 
I knew that was a possibility, but I really hoped it wasn't the truth. So, there we go with that. And over here, we're going to be attacking this army. And over here, we are just going to be sieging more of Peru's land because Peru is really an easy nation to take down. Oh, and uh, just to make sure that these guys don't get away from you, uh, sacrifice a husky, a huskwall, or just basically a cavalry unit to make sure that these guys stay. That's what we basically want them to do. There we go, and then there we go. Now that I got thirty, now I got thirty-two k on my side. Let's see how well my troops fight. Okay, there we go. And now they're running. We're gonna go fight them more. We basically just have to win a couple more battles, and this war will be over. Okay. And let's see, you guys go crush these guys, because I really don't want them anymore in my land. Back over here in our African War of Attrition. Uh, yes, I am saying that word right, it is attrition. Okay, we are just casually waiting for these guys to die. Okay, I'm going to try to move them more into my territory, so that they can't use the French to help them out. Because I really don't want that to happen. I, I really don't want them to use... Oh, you... Okay, just stay. Okay. I'm not gonna do anything. Wait. France, would you give me military access? Yes! Oh! Never mind then! Oh, you are screwed now. You are screwed now, Netherlands. You don't even know. Okay, get, wait, 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 wait for a second. Wait for my military access. Thank you! Okay, go kill them. <laughs> we'll chase you all the way into Congo, you little Netherlands people. Yeah. I, I know insults. Alright, so what we have to do, we basically, well, all we have to do, and I kid you not, all we have to do, well, wait, go stop my other army from moving, stay right here, and all we have to do is now just put my 15 death stack K right there, and now this 9K is gonna die. No, no, no. You're gonna die. Yeah. Let's hope, let's hope my troops can arrive there before any kind of instances happen but just in case I'll do exactly what I did over there have my troops go stall them make sure they stay there go send these troops over here hopefully my huskier will not die before I send in more reinforcements there we go my huskier did not die before I sent in more reinforcements I have more troops let's see where they're going they're going to Alakta Everyone combine, wait, combine, then go to a latte, let's go kill them. <laughs> okay, and then back over here in our good uh, conquest of awesomeness. Apparently we had some awesome battles, cool. And we apparently own like absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go siege up the rest of this land over here so I make sure I own it. Oh, I see what happened. Peru apparently peaced out at some point. So that means Peru is no longer... Uh, I'll be right back, people. Okay, sorry about that. One of my friends was asking about practice small, which was uh, slightly annoying because he hasn't been to, like, practice in, like, two or three weeks, which was, like, okay, so you're finally, and school, like, for me is starting in, like, a week, so it's, like, okay, so you basically missed, like, three weeks, and now you're asking to go to practice. That's kind of like a, I don't know taboo or something I don't know but he asked me and yeah there you go there's a little bit of insight in my personal life so let's see we're back over here and this is this is my example right here where I was showing you guys if you didn't believe me this is what I mean suicide bombs all the way okay let's see somehow these guys escaped me okay husk uh, I can't send it back they're gonna die if we don't okay hopefully I'll be able to catch them without yes I think I'll be able to catch these guys without- No! 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 Mother of pearls. These guys are not gonna let me go anything. And I'm starting to start accumulating bad voodoo, juju, whatever you want. I'm playing social securities? What the heck? Uh, why is my expenses really this high? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end this war very quickly. And apparently the Netherlands also went up here and it was like, Hey, let's try to siege you. Uh, no. Okay. Let's go right here. We're gonna go unsiege with those two armies. I'm gonna go siege those guys. Uh, Colombia still can deal with all that kind of stuff. Let's start ending this war really quickly. I'm, I'm about done. Yeah. I, I think, I think, I think I've let them have, Oh, you gotta be kidding. 
Spain, I will deal with you in a second, okay? But first, I have to go deal with the Brazilians. Once the Brazilians are dead, we can deal with you, okay? <sighs> okay. Anyways, yeah, we just have to finish up the battles. It shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, just, just crush that army. Crush it, just... Just flat out crush it. Go right here, go start killing them. You guys get back into my land, start unseaging. Go right here, go unseaging. Yeah, we have to finish this war very quickly. We're starting to gain negative money, and I'm starting to have factories close up even faster. And I'm really getting annoyed by these stupid, by these stupid Netherlean troops. By thinking that they can actually take me on. I believe, and I think the army of the Netherlands just actually just died. Huh. Oh, no, they just spawned a magical 27 death stack. Okay, well, this should actually be pretty fun. Let's go check. Let's go see if they're actually willing to go fight me. Nope, they are still cowards as usual. Fight, come on, fight me like fight me like an army. Come on. I mean, I won't kill you that much. Come on. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to use up my good men. Okay, so let's see. Make a cavalry unit in Bennett. Yes, exactly what I wanted you to do. Make one cavalry unit in Bennett. I'm going to use it as my suicide squad. We're going to go kill that army no matter what. Okay, we're going to kill that army no matter what. And let's see, there's a 16 death stack right there. Let's go kill it. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Start seizing up all the land we need because I really need to end this war now. I don't have the time nor the patience to be continuing this war. I really don't. I really do not, and right now this war is severely annoying me. Hopefully I'll be able to kill those Brazilians before they do anything else. I'll be able to kill these Brazilians before they do anything else. More battles are being won for me, and I get 59k just like that. Okay, and now our war score has gotten really good, but it's still not good enough to the point where they would be like, yeah, maybe we should stop this, so let's go and siege some of this land over here. Deal with that stupid 36 death stack. Don't know why it's over here. Okay. I'm going to have to wait until this little guy is done. They're probably going to unseize some of the land. I'm fine with that. I, I really can't do anything about it. As long as I make sure this is unseized, then we're fine because I'll still gain ticking war score. Yeah, you see, now it's not fulfilled. Now they're getting bad events for it. And they're like, oh shoot, maybe we shouldn't have declared war. Okay, you guys move up. You guys just keep moving up. Just keep sieging, move up, siege, move up, siege, move up, siege. I think that's basically the mechanics of Victoria 2. And yeah. I'm at I'm at the point now, people, where I'm just like, yeah, this has to end. <laughs> it was fun like for a little bit, but this has to end. We're, we're about in the game. Okay. You guys go right here. Go right here. We're all gonna meet up in the same place. We're basically gonna go destroy the the 32, 22 death stack with a little bit of a suicide squad. So. I'm going to start you halfway, okay, so when he starts running, he starts running, you're going to go in, stall him, and then basically die, okay, that's all I want you, uh, ongoing, wait, what, the many immigrants who arrived in our country created demand for housing, the construction of new homes must be sped up when reports show that many immigrants share housing with up to 10 or 20 people. This sounds very familiar to something. This is a minor disaster that could create epidemics, revolts, and other disturbances. Let's speed this up. Seriously, I, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, we got them down. Hopefully the unit will die before, before I get engaged. Yes, it will. And now we get my good soldiers in. And now they are crushed. And that, my friends, is how you use suicide, suicide squads to your most effective use. Or, as I just call them, cavalry units. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's just keep sieging up all this. Uh, Brazil should be like, oh shoot, we are now losing by a lot. Yeah. The only thing they're really having right now is the defender's occupation, but I'm cleaning that up now very, very quickly. Spain is right now really annoying me, though, because they're being all Spanish. And right now I'm accumulating a ton of... There we go. Keep everything we want. And now let's go deal with those, those blasted Spaniards. Okay. Send about two armies down here to go deal with the blasted Spaniards. And we're going to go deal with these guys. Keep... We could probably keep one army up here in the north because I really don't give too much care for the north. But I care enough to where I do need something. Sprawling Empire, huzzah! And the last little bit of the Netherlands troops are now dead. Siege back up this. And hopefully here soon we'll be able to pass some, some reforms. 
Everyone wants secret ballots. Let's get secret ballots because I really don't want another revolt on my hands. I mean, seriously, let's see. What's the biggest revolt? No. Well, I could actually give minimum wage if you guys want minimum wage. Like, I don't mind about the minimum wage stuff. The minimum wage stuff is fine. I just care about when you guys, like, try to do evil stuff to me. Like, revolts. I mean, just... Don't... Please don't revolt first. Just come, just come to me casually and say, Hey, guys. Uh, this, is, this is how you should do it. Just be like, hey, you know, we like to get some more equal pay for our country. Because I think we should be paid more because we do work and work such and such, whatever. And I'd be like, sure. Oh, wow, Dutch actually won that area. <laughs> well, because the French were being occupied by Britain, but yeah. Okay, and now they are definitely losing this. Are you guys about... I'm not going to enter the... I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to have to wait until... Until, like... Okay. You guys are having fun sieging up my land, aren't you? Reactionaries... What do we even want? Let's see. Atheism is absolutely unpopular with everyone. Wow. You know, I really do not want to make anyone mad right now. So... Yeah, let's get that. <laughs> I don't know how our people... Okay. So, let's see. How close is my second army? My second army is... All the way up here in Amazonia land. They ain't gonna be here anytime soon. So... <sighs> okay. We're just gonna have to wait here then, because I can't exactly block these guys in like I wanted to. Just gonna have to wait until more of my troops arrive down here in the south. Uh, are, are they? Are they? Are they, are they literally just charging me? I mean, like, hmm. Do they possibly think I'm gonna? Okay. They obviously think I'm gonna lose this, but I have a pretty decent general. Oh gosh, this better not be one of those moments where I realize my death sack stink against European armies, or I will be insanely mad. Let's figure this out, everyone. Hopefully I'll be able to- Communists, everyone, everyone but conservatives all lost something. Okay, limited full citizenship. Alright, we have- we did not sign a Geneva Convention, and we are destroying the Spanish army. Wow, they just got- they just got pwned. Okay, let's see, what is everyone right now? Intervention. Oh my goodness. You guys, can you guys just make up your bloody mind of what you guys want in the world? I mean, gosh dang it, I just wanna, I just wanna calm, peaceful, peaceful land. Stuck. We'll leave, we'll leave everyone. Okay. Go kill the last little bit of the Spanish invasion where they retried, where those, where those ex-colonial powers tried to reconquer La Plata. But we ain't gonna let that happen, are we, La Plata? We ain't gonna let those good, no good Spanish people try to reconquest us. Cause we are an independent sovereign nation. And we will never let you conquer us again. Yeah. La Plata. Or America. Cause we are technically America too. Alright. Kill this army. Make it die in a very slow but fulfilling death. Uh, militancy right now is actually very calm. It seems like many people still love our communist glorious leader. You guys should all die now. Okay. Hopefully they are all going to where I'm telling them to. Good. And now the Spanish are now going to die. Yep. And they even got... I even got defensive bonus. So they're even going to die even more. This is like the greatest day of my life. Of course not. Uh, we encourage Jindoists. Surge of liberalism. That was always... Like I said, if there's a party that's unpopular in your country, you bet your, you bet your tootin' that this game will try to promote it as much as possible. Even though you hate it, even though it's a definite detriment to your country, they'll improve it by- Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. America, did you literally just do that? So, America decided in their wise infinite wisdom that they're going to add a cut down cosplay to Belgium. A nation that doesn't really need it, but... I feel like having America as my world leader was probably the worst idea I could have ever done. Except the fact that they finally sent an army over here which should go deal with those Spanish over there. So I guess it's kind of a win, it's kind of a loss at the same time though. I'll just consider a win a win loss. Gosh dang it, mate. You have 83 ships and you don't use those to go send an army to Belgium and conquer them. 
And I just realized that this episode has been going on for longer than I expected. You guys got treated to like a five episode longer length than usual. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.